<clears throat> it's Monday morning. You know, everybody hates Mondays. I feel like it's all part of your mind. You make your mind believe whatever you want to believe. You hate Mondays, you hate Mondays. But honestly, I don't think Monday did anything to anybody. Because <laughs> I have to go to work too, so who cares? What is my ruin for Pisces today or ruin? That's coming down. Okay. find me ruin page I have this taking back Sunday song in my head right now somebody wants you to come back to them but they can't make you come back and where have you been well, who knows oh my gosh and then the ruins are one and nine I just saw nine one 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 and nine okay taking back Sunday stop <clears throat> okay Ruin number one is abundance, success, security, and fertility. Number nine is nature, wrath, and being tested. Ooh. Okay, so what I'm picking up is <clears throat> you might be a part of a cycle right now where your abundance is coming from the world. Like, nature. The animals. Something like that. Like, it's not, it's not karmic money. It's money or success. So, okay, so you might be a, in a part of your life right now where you're not having the best success. And you might find some security breaches up your security, especially in your phone. You know, if you do something like YouTube, do that double author authentic. <laughs> oh, sometimes I can't say words. Um, do the double sign in, you know, where they text. They text you a number. I know it's a pain in the ass, but honestly, I haven't saved passwords in my phone for years. I just, I don't use apps anymore for like my banking and stuff. <clears throat> so how it signs you in automatically. Well, that's where you kind of should start to worry. I know your phones do amazing things and it's super convenient to push a button and then you're in your savings account. But you know how dangerous that is? Like... Saving your passwords on your phone, everything should be a two-step verification to get into any account that you have, okay? That's just smart, especially if you've ever experienced identity theft or if someone's come in and transferred a bunch of money from your account into theirs, stuff like that. Like, that shit happens, and it happens more frequently than you think, and that's why upping security, you're always going to think that it's not going to happen to you, right? There's always that. It's never going to happen to me. That happens to other people. Please don't say that because if you get in the notion of saying it only happens to other people, it just doesn't seem to happen to me. You might change that wheel and then everything happens to you. Okay. Sometimes we're just saved. We don't have to go through things because there are no lessons in how we deal with it. All right. So you might be being tested right now. Um, success. Because maybe you want it like really fast and you want a lot of it, but it's not coming as fast as it should. But you have to understand that anything that is worth accumulating in your life will grow slow. So nature is specifically designing something to grow slow for you. So when you get the abundance, you realize that it takes time to grow things and not I want to make money right away off things. It's not, I know the end equation is always going to be money because we need money to survive. But the beginning equation should be what it is that you love to do or what it is that you can do or what it is that you're capable of doing, not what can I push myself to do so I can make money really fast. 
please don't try to be a mad child and just you know get some gangster rappers and and think that you're going to go to number one you know like just just if it's not it has to be authentically you you've realized that everything has to be authentically you not what other people do not how this person does it or how that person does it it's always going to be the way you do it because you're original you don't need to do it like anybody else other people have to mock other people. They have to follow other people. They're, they're never going to get an original, ingenious thought on their own. They're always going to follow and make wishes off other people's thoughts. That's just the way it works. Seven of Swords, Magician. Tower. Okay. This tower has been coming up quite a bit. I don't know what is happening out in the world right now, but geez Louise, energy is angry and wanting to rip some shit apart. So don't rip your life apart because you're not making money right this second. Okay? It's a test. So we got the raccoon, seven of swords, and the magician. Then we got the Nine of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> anxiety. Oh, okay, 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 okay. You might have some anxiety that maybe uh, you're going to go broke again. Or you might fall back into a cycle that you already went through that had something to do with poverty. Starvation, hibernation, something like that. Maybe you're claustrophobic, and that took a lot of money to get through that because you couldn't leave your house, right? But there's some magic going on with the magician, some tricksy magic that could be, something's definitely being hidden from you, which is why it's in the raccoon's hands. The raccoon has it, and you notice you only really see those bad boys at night, okay? So, and foxes, how, how much in your life have you really seen a fox? Right? You see them in, like, fields running, Okay? All by themselves. So when the tower comes down, there might be some type of hidden agenda. Oh, good. Okay, we have judgment on the top of the deck. The phoenix rising. Rising from the ashes. So really what I'm getting is like, if you've been poor before, okay, like, we're talking, I mean, this is, I don't think people understand how much poverty actually goes on. Like, just because you have an apartment, it doesn't mean there was any furniture in it. Just because you pay your rent doesn't mean you have any food in your fridge. Like, I saw this one couple, this one day came up to me, and they asked if they could have some food. And he goes, he was with his wife, and he goes, you know, we just got an apartment, and now we don't have any food. And I was like, you have to understand, I've been homeless. My sister and I have struggled for years. We, we are completely alone, right? It's, it's we either make our money or we're out on the streets. There's nobody to help us. We don't have any family. We don't have anybody. We don't have boyfriends. We don't have anybody that actually has our back, right? It's just me and her. And plus our landlady. Like, you know, we've made friends in the building, but we don't have family to lean on anymore. Those people aren't going to give us $1,000 to pay our rent if, if one of us loses our job or, you know, something like that. Like, like it's, it's, we're definitely, I can feel why you feel like you're one step away from that, from that ledge of, of never being able to get your shit back together again. And just know that we can't for sure know what the future has in store for us. But I do believe that something is being kept from you. And it's being kept from you because you're being tested about it right now. Okay, you could be angry and you, you could have a very angry side to you and the, and the universe isn't quite ready to reveal what it has for you if you don't get through this next phase. Because we can't predict the future. We don't know if we're going to be here or not. There's seven different paths and seven different roads that we could enter just going to work. Okay. You have to understand that there are many portals, there are many channels, there are many dimensions, there are many things that can happen to you throughout the day. 3D is not your only worst enemy. 
Okay. But I do see rising from the ashes. So I do feel like, especially in, in this coming winter, like, so I think something's going to happen and you're going to rise again. And I know that rising again takes a lot. Like, I don't know if you've ever risen before from nothing, but it takes all your energy. Like you, you, you'd be surprised how much you can render in the end, but at the same time, how much sleep you really have to do because of how exhausting this kind of journey is. But I do see that you're coming out of it. It's just when the universe is testing you, especially when the world is testing you, it's, it's the worst lessons possible, but it's lessons that you can do. It's lessons that are doable. It's lessons that aren't going to put you on the streets right? Somebody else did that to you, not the universe. Anything else? <clears throat> Anything else for this reading? I do feel like you're going to come alive in the winter for sure, which is super weird for the winter, but it would be you. You know what I mean? We got the, oh good. Okay. The nightingale is on the bottom of the deck. I didn't take it because I hadn't shuffled yet, but the nightingale is back out with the lizard. So that's the queen of swords with the knight of cups. If you have, if you are doing something for yourself, if you really are starting a business or you're trying to get money, believe in yourself. Tell yourself the truth every day that you can do it, that this is possible for you, that this is the next step for you. Things that, that make you realize that it has nothing to do with anybody else. That this is you, that when you have to be tested, you have to go through it no matter what. And to lose that, there you go. There's the wolf. There's the teacher, right? The one thing that's being hidden from you is that you just, you have to learn something right now. And I know it sucks, but once you get through the learning phase, then you get to the activity phase, right? Where you're moving, you're going, you're constant because you're not learning. You're not in the classroom. It goes from in the classroom to in the workplace, right? metaphorically speaking or in the testing grounds right like you you go from from paper and pencil to hands-on and that might change like that that's going to change a lot of things too so it's just like sometimes things they, they don't come fast but they do come so hold on pisces there's some good shit coming for you it's just not right this second but it's around the corner strap your seat on put that seatbelt on I don't know why. <laughs>